All right, hey everyone, this is John Carter with TradeTheMarkets.com, and we are looking at the silver trade from Sunday night. Uh, this is a pretty crazy trade. You can see <clears throat> silver got whacked like $5 an ounce. Now, on something like this, the question is always, uh, you don't want to step in front of a freight train and buy this, right? And that's smart. I mean, yes, we came, to, we came down pretty hard here. We kept selling off, selling off, selling off. And on something like this, from $48 down to $43, that's a $25,000 per contract move. Okay, silver's a pretty big contract. You don't want to stand in the way of that. So we did play this, and there's a couple of things we look for. First, on the squeeze, on the five-minute chart, we looked for momentum to run out. Okay, so this is momentum accelerating, and then this is momentum decelerating. So when you see the two bars, the two yellow bars, that's the first thing that you're looking at. Okay, the second piece that we're looking at is two of the blue TTM bars. And from there, you can start establishing a position. All right, now you know you're not, you're at least not catching a freight train and place your stop at the lows, okay? From there, um, let's see, we started going along here, going along, going along. And at this point, as I was watching this trade unfold, and I remember because I was about ready to go to bed at this point, um, I thought we were going to get stopped out, but this was the risk. I mean, it, essentially, you've got to whittle down the number of contracts to match your monetary risk. If I was using a 20 cent stop, um, I would have used something like 10 contracts, but using a full dollar and a half stop, it ended up being one contract. This was a one contract trade. All right. So when this market was rolling over, and I thought, well, gosh, this thing's going to get stopped out. Uh, now, a trading mistake to make here would be to say, all right, I'm just going to uh, get out of this trade, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of this trade and uh, just take my take my losses and go to bed. But part of the key, of course, with this is just being able to follow your trading plan. So as we go along, and I wake up the next morning, we're going along, we're going along, going along, and when I wake up the next morning, we're about right here. Okay, so we we definitely had rallied up to $45 an ounce, and at that point, it was definitely time to aggressively raise stops. So my entry was $42.78. I moved my entry to $42.78, okay? And then we're coming along through the day. And even if you hadn't bought that, you had a nice squeeze here. The squeeze fired off. Um, this is a long signal here, boom, you get a nice run. And then when you get the two red TTMs, you could exit there. And this was um, about a $12,000 per contract move. That was a pretty serious move. Uh, so at this point, when we got up to $47, I then moved my stop up to $45.10, which was right up in here. And what I was doing at this point was wanting to do about a two and a half dollar trailing stop. Now, at this point, I had no idea if silver was gonna have some blow off rally and go to you know, $52, $53 an ounce, or if it was gonna stop me out. I didn't know, I didn't pre pretend to know, okay? The main thing was, is now I'd locked in $12,000 on the trade per contract and wanted to see you know, what it was gonna get me. Now, remember, if I had done this earlier, if I had jumped out earlier, when the market was um, rolling over that night, I would have missed out on this trade. So the, the thing is, is on something like this, the key to managing a trade is not uh, putting too much opinion on where you think the market's gonna go at this point. So I just moved my stop up to 45 and we're gonna see what happens. All right, so what happens? So the market comes down, the market comes down, the market comes down, and guess what, it stops me out. So I got stopped out at $45.10. And in fact, that was right before I was getting on a plane. I was in Miami uh, at a conference and um, it actually came down almost all the way down to, how low did it go? 40, $43.50, so actually fairly close to my original entry. And then from here, it started to rally back higher. Now, I actually haven't played it since then. Um, I just kind of wanted to sit back and just kind of see what this thing was going to do. But now, as we, as we go into, uh, oops, as we go into uh, tonight, I wanted to kind of see what silver wanted to do here. And we're at $41.35. I actually think that silver at this point wants to test $38, all right? So now I gotta be careful here. I'm, I'm kind of putting my opinion on the market, right? So what I gotta do is I gotta wait for a signal. And the kind of signal I'd wait for is something like this, where we get a squeeze, it fires off short, we've got the A, B, and the C waves below zero. Until then, I'm not gonna do anything. All right, hope that helps. Silver is a very volatile contract, but looking at it on a five minute chart, um, or even a tick chart can help um, ease the pain of trying to time these incredibly volatile moves.